good urban mystics it's unique divination and i am here with your virgo reading for february 2019 and i just want to say thank you to all of my virgos that i love so much realize that sometimes i gotta come with y'all with tough love because you guys can be quite stubborn so for those of you guys that acknowledge that that's growth that is extreme growth and i'm so proud of you and guess what capricorn's gonna be stubborn too sometimes well it's an earth sign trait right but um you guys just have it a little bit more than the other earth signs <laughs> um nah but i'm just glad because i really thought that like y'all virgos was like oh i can't stand her but i love you guys and i'm glad that you guys are here for my guidance right and um i just had some cards fall out of course and i've got ace of cups here ace of cups and so for the month of february virgo this deals with relationships with people it deals with relationships on all forms personal relationships meaning your significant other um your children your brothers your sisters your parents anybody close to you that has a that's in your inner circle and this um has to do with relationships at work too virgos you guys shut down you guys shut down, you know, I, and some of y'all realize it and some of y'all really don't. You guys shut down and sometimes you really don't express yourself the way that you should. So something is going to happen to you, Virgo. I don't know if it's going to be some type of spiritual awakening. I don't know what's going to happen if somebody just really touches you to the point where, you know, Maybe they share some type of information with you, but you're going to open up this month. It's going to be like the floodwaters. If to my Virgos that are working on spiritual development, if you're working on shadow work, watch any of my previous videos um, dealing with shadow work. So there's just going to be some type of opening for you, which is going to allow you to express yourself. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done. You know, whether you've been a victim, a victim of abuse, child abuse, sexual abuse, I don't know, but... There's going to be healing to your inner child for the month of February. And as you see this cup, the floodwaters is just going to open up for you, okay? If you're in a relationship, this is going to be a very good experience because your partner is going to learn things about you that they didn't even know because you've just been bottling things up inside. So this is a really good thing. People are going to see you in a different light when you start to express yourself, right? Right? When you start to let them emotions go, because people honestly don't know how to take you, Virgo. Um, you come off stubborn sometimes. You come off like nothing can move you, no matter what nobody says. And that's why I remember my last reading, you know, the healing that you needed or the guidance that you needed had to come from inside because nobody moves you or motivates you but you, Virgo. You don't move unless you want to move, Right. That's one thing that we do know about Virgos, and you should notice about yourself, right? You've got to let that wall down. You've got to let people in, and you've got to allow yourself to emo uh, open up emotionally. If somebody's hurt you, you know, you've got to express that in a productive manner. You can't keep shutting down and thinking that that's going to resolve things or that's going to fix things. That fix nothing, okay? Trump is trying to build a fucking wall. Will this wall fix anything? Okay? That wall that you've got up, it don't fix nothing. It keeps people out and it keeps you from evolving emotionally, right? For those Virgos that are not in a relationship, you may meet somebody new, you know, that you're very interested in. But again, if you're not willing to open up to this person, you may miss the opportunity to have a really good partner in your life. So let's focus on opening up a little bit more for the month of February Let's focus on emotional healing. You have to release that. You can't keep holding on to it and bottling it up. It's going to come out. You might be an emotional wreck. You might be crying. Whatever it is that you need to do to let these emotions flow, I recommend doing it. Crying, um, artistry, if you're a writer, if you make music, um, I don't know, um, exercise. Do something to allow this emotion to come through you like i said whether it be through creativity 
but it has to come through and you cannot avoid it. If you don't release this, these emotions, especially in the month of February, the, the rest of the year is not going to go good for you with your relationships with people. Like I said, in your inner circle and at work, if there's things that you don't like that's going on at work, you have to express yourself. Nobody's going to know how you feel if you don't say anything, Virgo. All right. So let's work on that. Let's work on releasing and expressing expressing our emotions so that people know how you feel and know that you are human <laughs> and you are not a cyborg alien um you know that just doesn't have any type of emotion okay so this concludes my reading for virgo um two links of importance you guys know i mentioned it i've been mentioning it for a while my daughter i have a gofundme account up for her she's leaving the country i ask that you share um, and also donate whatever you do. I am humble with gratitude and I appreciate it. My second link of importance is I have a Patreon account. Okay. I provide monthly readings for people, um, via PDF. I send it through their email. Um, the spread you get depends on the tier that you choose. And not only do you get monthly readings, you get a lot of exclusive content and discounts to my shop. Okay. So I love you, Urban Mystics and Virgos. I will see you in March, okay? All right, deuces.